Over the last decade, brake pad wear sensors have gone through significant updates. What started as simple warning devices, modern sensors are now an important part of the brake system, providing more detailed insights that benefit both customers and technicians. Let's talk about how modern brake pad wear sensors work. Modern brake pad wear sensors do more than just signal when pads are worn out. One great example of the evolution of brake pad wear sensors is prevalent in most German vehicles. Sensors in these vehicles can actually estimate how many miles remain before the brake pads need to be replaced, meaning you and your customers can plan maintenance ahead of time, long before it becomes a safety issue for them. Brake pad wear sensors date back more than 40 years. Old school brake pad sensors were positioned on the inboard pads at each corner of the vehicle. They were designed with a known resistance value which, when reaching a certain resistance, a rectifier circuit in the instrument cluster sensed it as an open circuit and turned on the warning light. While these older systems were effective, they were also prone to issues like physical damage and corrosion on the connectors. But things have really changed. Today's brake pad wear sensors use a two-stage sensor design, with two resistor circuits positioned at different depths on the pad. The first circuit signals the system when the pad starts to wear, but it doesn't trigger a warning light. Instead, the information is used to estimate the pad's remaining life, combining data like wheel speed, mileage, brake pressure, and even disc temperature. Only when the second circuit is tripped will the system alert the driver that it's time for brake service. These sensors are monitored by the ABS module and the instrument cluster, and the information is usually displayed directly on the vehicle's information center. This can range from a mileage estimate to a warning light that changes color, providing a clear picture of the pad's current condition. As with any vehicle component ready to be serviced, there are a few precautions you should keep in mind. Over time, the heat from the brakes can cause wear to the sensor's wiring and clips, which means replacing them is a good practice. Many premium brake pads come with these sensors included, and they're also widely available from aftermarket suppliers. Also, don't forget to reset the brake life service indicator. This can often be done via the Driver Information Center, but sometimes it will require a scan tool. Modern brake pad wear sensors not only help drivers plan maintenance, but they also make it easier for shops to keep customers informed about the condition of the brake pads. Stay on top of advancements to brake pad wear sensors so that you can provide the best service possible to your customers. For more tire and service videos, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Christian Hinton, coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.